Hello and welcome to Guided Teacher YouTube channel. Today's video is about subtraction using a bar model. But before we dive into this lesson, let's take a look at the essential question and think about it as we work through the problems. How do you solve subtraction problems using a bar model? Here's a quick preview of what you're about to learn in this video lesson. You will learn how to subtract using a bar model and how to write a subtraction sentence. You'll also learn these three keywords, whole, part, and difference. You might want to pause this video and note down these three keywords in your math journal, whole, part, difference. What is a bar model and how do you use it to subtract? Here are two examples of bar models. This is probably the bar model that you are more familiar with. You probably used it in your addition um, sentences and modeling addition exercises. Here, as you could see, the whole is at the bottom where it says eight. That's the whole amount. When we added the parts five and three, we got eight. This model, this style, is used more for addition. It can also be used for subtraction, but it's more common in addition. The one we will use for subtraction is this one right here, where you have the bar for the whole is on top. The bigger the larger bar that says 8, that's the whole. The whole amount is 8. And when we subtract from 8, 5, we will get Three, or if we subtracted three, we will have five. So this um, type of bar model has the whole on top and then two parts on the bottom. So now that we have a basic understanding of what a bar model is, let's do some subtraction problems using a bar model. Here's a word problem. Jim has six apples. He gives away four apples to his sister, Jill. How many apples does Jim have now? Now would be a good time to pause the video and read this subtraction problem. And the way to answer subtraction problems is you break it part by part, piece by piece, and try to understand. So the first thing that I know here is that Jim has six apples. Jim has six apples, so that's the whole. Okay, so if I am using a bar model, I am going to put the number six inside the bigger bar. So the second part of this problem says that Jim gives four apples away. Okay, when you give away, this is subtraction, right? That's a keyword. That's um, a clue that now I know he's giving it away means he's taking it from the six and giving it away that's minus that's subtraction so I'm going to put the number four inside the box with the part so now I have two pieces of information six is the whole that's in the bigger bar and then four is the part that he gives away the next part in the problem says how many does he have now, which means how many does he have left? So I have to subtract four from the whole, which is the six. So what is six minus four? Yep, you're right. Let's see. Six minus four equals two. That's the remaining part. So I will go ahead and put two over here where it says remaining part. That's also known as the difference. Let's read this again to see if we got everything correctly. Jim has six apples. He gives away four apples to his sister. How many apples does Jim have now? Did we answer this problem correctly? Yes, I think we did. And here is a subtraction sentence. We will also learn how to make a subtraction sentence. So I start with the whole, that's the number six, that's the bigger number. Minus 4 equals 2. 2 is the difference. So 6 is the whole, 4 is the part that I'm taking away, that I'm minusing, that I'm subtracting, 
and two is the remaining part which is the difference remember that with subtraction it's very very important which number you put first subtraction is not like addition subtraction is not commutative so you cannot put the four before the six the six has to go first the number that's bigger has to be the one on top or the one ahead the one before so six is first minus four because i'm taking away four from six i cannot take away six from four now let's look at another example and this time you will do it so here try this example there are four bunnies one bunny hops away how many bunnies are there now remember before we start answering a word problem we should break it up so the first part says that there were four bunnies and one hopped away there he is he's hopping away all right so remember the hole is the four now what part ran away how many bunnies ran away do you remember yes you're right one bunny ran away so that's the part that ran away that's the part i'm taking away from the hole so now it's four minus one now what's left that's gonna go in the remaining part okay in the bar the space bar that says remaining part difference so that's where I'm going to put the remaining part. Now, let me ask you this. What is 4 minus 1? So take a moment, pause the video, and try to do this example on your own. What is 4 minus 1? If your answer is 3, you are absolutely correct. Good job. Yes, 4 minus 1 equals 3. So now in the remaining part, the difference is three i will put three where the difference part is now with the help of our bar model we can go ahead and write the subtraction sentence so i'm going to start with the number on top which is the whole remember the whole amount was four there were four bunnies so i go ahead and write that four over here remember the whole part goes in first then the clue word says one bunny hopped away remember the clue word is the word away i know when we take away or they run away or they go away it means i am subtracting and when we subtract which sign do we use do we use the addition sign the plus sign or the subtraction sign which is the minus sign which one do we use well if you guessed subtraction the minus sign you guessed correctly so yes it is the minus sign i will go ahead and put the minus sign inside the circle right here now i have four minus okay four minus what how many ran away how many bunnies ran away what what am i taking away from this four yes i'm taking away one that part the one so i'm going to go ahead and put that one right here after the minus sign so now we have four minus one okay so now what is the difference so four minus one equals what four minus one we said was equal to three that's the remaining part right so i'm going to go ahead and put that remaining part right there on the last line and we have answered the subtraction problem very good so here's a recap of what we learned in today's lesson we learned how to subtract using a bar model and we also learned how to write a subtraction sentence we looked at the three key words that are very essential for this lesson the words are whole part and difference thank you for watching and goodbye